First things first, Matt, what's your experience and what's your knowledge around location tracking? So, uh, I've, a little bit old, so you can probably tell. So, I guess for me, like, <laughs> RFID tracking is it's probably something I would be familiar with, the little tags that you'd have, like, on, you know, classic example for me, going to H&B and seeing those stickers on the CDs, you've got the big gates on the exit of the, of the store, and, you know, you kind of know where something is because it's either in the store or it's gone past that barrier. So in healthcare, uh, in, in, in the health world that I worked in, they had some use cases of that. They would uh, they would tag laundry, for example, so they'd know where laundry had been, uh, and they might know that it had been to a particular site in the health board or that it had gone off to a different location in the health board, but they wouldn't necessarily know where it was at any particular time um, in its in its life cycle. So it was sort of useful, and it was a quite, quite a good business case for them. It actually helped them save quite a lot of money, but it, it wasn't giving them that real-time tracking. Um, it, Another example I can think of more recently in the health board was that they were using it to really just kind of like audit the capital assets, if you will, from a financial perspective, so from a governance perspective. And it was very, very manual. They would literally go through with like a trolley and scan, you know, kind of the area that they were in, and they would find where things were on that day at that moment in time. So again, you know, useful from an auditing perspective, but let, let's just say, you know, you're a clinician, you desperately need the infusion pump or something. Really, you're kind of just asking people on the ward probably where that piece of equipment is. So things like being able to understand how it's being used, how often it's being used, where we've got them right now, and are they even on the right floor or in the right department, for example, is, that wouldn't really be possible. Not really. I think, you know, I think some of the equipment's got that kind of capability built in, but obviously you've got to go to the piece of equipment, you've got to know where it is to be able to you know, derive that information and uh, yeah, just being able to pick up things where they are when you need them most, that, that just wasn't really something that was that simple. And if, you, if you lost something, there, there, there could quite often be some kind of interesting challenges in terms of finding it. So from, um, from an IT team perspective as well, um, how did that feature uh, in terms of what you were doing and is, was it a big part of an everyday role to, to be able to support that sort of technology? Not really. So I mean, a, a lot of systems in healthcare um, sort of devolved, so like the informatics department, the ICT department that provides the infrastructure and the services and, and you know, the support and enable um, some of these applications. But quite often, divisions and areas are able to go off and purchase and procure systems themselves. So, what we would, you know, what we'd see is our involvement would be quite lightweight. Often, it would be that we'd need to perhaps provision a server or maybe help them with some devices that they were using to um, track, track equipment or. Uh, Every now and then, I've, I've got a few recollections of people saying, is there any way we could like, maybe use the Wi-Fi to try and track something down? But that would be really, really challenging because, of course, the equipment might be turned off. It might not have an active IP lease. That we not get too technical. There are ways of finding things with the Wi-Fi. But if it's not on or if it's not connected or it hasn't been connected for a while, you, you kind of, you know, you're really sort of uh, struggling with that one thing. It's interesting because you mentioned about Wi-Fi there. And just from my own knowledge of Wi-Fi, how broad it's it's radio waves at the end of the day so radio passes through walls so the best you're ever going to get is a range or an approximation or a radius if you've got the right density of wireless access points that's broadcasting so there's all sorts of limitations here aren't there in a real operating environment these are some of the things that we're going to cover off today